If you guys remember, um, only two chapters ago, we practiced simplifying complex fractions. And the way that I taught simplifying complex fractions was when you had multiple denominators, multiply by the LCD. In this case, the LCD between 3 and 4 is simply just the product of 3 times 4. Right? Now, you can write it as 12 if you want to, but I'm actually going to leave it as broken apart. When you multiply everything times 3 times 4, notice how when you multiply 3 times 4 or 12 times 4 thirds, what divides out? The 3's divide out, right? So you're just left with 4 times 4, which is 16. When you multiply 3 fourths times, or 3 times 4 times 3 over 4, the 4's would divide out, and you were just left with 3 times 3, which would be a 9. And then this is, again, 16. So therefore, you're left with 16 over 25. So when I look at this example, it might not be apparent what my, what my common denominator is. But I know that if I rewrite this in terms of sines and cosines, it might become a little bit more apparent. Or I might have an opportunity to simplify based on common denominators. So by converting to sines and cosines, I see that, well, you know what? I can eliminate these by a common denominator of cosine of theta, sine of theta. Unfortunately, I can't simplify the product of cosine of theta, sine of theta, right? Like I could 3 and 4. But that's OK, actually, because when I multiply cosine of theta times sine of theta times cosine of theta over sine of theta, I see that my sines would divide out, right? And I'd just be left with cosine times cosine, which is? cosine squared of theta. When I do cosine times sine times sine of theta over cosine of theta, my cosines would divide out, leaving me with a sine times sine, which is sine squared of theta. And then when I would multiply this times this, my sines would divide out, leaving me with cosine times cosine. And again, I realize, I say, hmm, can I simplify this further? And again, we notice something. Sine squared plus cosine squared is equal to 2, 1. So my simplified answer is cosine squared of theta. Yes? When working out, uh, are we still going to do A? Like yes, I'm still going to have those groups done up. OK, good, because yep. I have trouble with A. Well, hopefully my group doing A can start putting them on the board.